What is going on guys, Reseller Tom here. Today we are going over a list with me video and this is a popular series that we have. So if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button. We're gonna be listing 10 pairs of jeans today. Today's Thursday, which is really good because I actually, not only did I go to the bins, but I also went to the actual thrift Goodwill store on Thursdays where I go to, it's the best time to go because anything that's a green tag is uh, $2, which is insane. So I went hard with jeans because at the bins, since it's $3 a pound, I'm paying like anywhere from 3 to even $6 per, for a pair of jeans. So when if you have any deals, make sure you go to your Goodwill um, and make sure you really um, understand the best days to go to Goodwill. You could just ask them. Um, for for where I go to, um, they say, hey, Thursdays is the best day because whatever tag it is, it's go going to be uh, $2. And so I went hard with jeans pretty much only. Also went hard with blazers because blazers tend to be heavier. And I got um, some green tag blazers for $2. Like I found a Lauren Ralph Lauren blazer today for 2 bucks, which is insane. I could flip that for like 50 to 80 bucks. Uh, right now we're just going to be listing jeans and um, jeans are great. I just don't really like getting jeans at the bins because like I said, um, they're out. <coughs> Excuse me. Caught something while on vacation, but um, which is very rare. Honestly, I never get sick. Haven't been sick in like four years, but it's all good. I'm not really that sick. It's just a little cold, I guess. So, um, all the jeans I got that you're going to see right now, $2, not the best brands, but um, they should all sell over $20 to $30. And if you're trying to raise your ASP, which is your average sales price, one of the best ways to do that is getting jeans because jeans typically will sell for that $25 range plus, you know, $8 to $9 shipping. So it's a really good way to get your ASP up. And if you can get them for a really low cost, then it's just a win-win. And so really go to your Goodwill and ask what the best days are. Or if you know, like, um, if something's 50% off or 75% off, you really want to uh, get to the Goodwill as early as possible. So I actually went to the bins pretty early today and I actually went to the thrift store pretty late today. So, we'll, so it's pretty much all been picked over, but I still found... 10 pairs of jeans. Uh, I spent 20 bucks for 10 pairs of jeans, which is insane because if that was the bins, I'd probably spend like 30 to 40 bucks. So this is a list with me video tutorial. And um, I'll basically share exactly how I do uh, most of this. So I'm not gonna, I'm not sure where I'm gonna place this video, but um, it might get in the way here. So let me make this a little bit smaller. If you guys find find videos like this valuable, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video because I'm going to give you guys way more list with me um, type content. So um, basically what I do when I am um, listing things is I will just sell similar off other people. But obviously you're going to see I go in and actually make adjustments. I just do that. It's just fast for me. Um, so the first pair of jeans are Express. Express actually has higher um, like um, MSRP, so they go for quite a bit. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll just type in Express and then on the tag, usually you can see the the brand basically. So this is um, ankle legging, high rise. So I'll just see if anyone else has anything similar. And this is a good way for me to get price and things like that. So I like to sell similar off of top rated people because they're going to have the closest um, item specifics already. So I'll just do the first one. It is sponsored. Um, typically, you would probably want to go for the first one that is not sponsored. Um, like this one right here, not sponsored. $12, so not super big. Um, they're charging like $9 shipping. And I actually think this one will be first class. Um, so this could be a good one to sell similar off of. Um they're all kind of the same. So I'll just, um, what I do is I sell now. So I'm using their listing cause I don't have a listing of my own. 
that is um, th of these exact genes. And so um, that's what it looks like, by the way. And it cost me $2. So what I'll do is I airdrop everything, basically, and then I drag them in here. And so I'll just show you the speed of how I do everything. Um, so I'll go to the next one. Abercrombie and Fitch. So I wouldn't usually get these brands gene wise, but since they're two dollars, it's it's honestly like a crazy awesome flip. Um, and as you can see right here, perfect stretch. So I kind of want to get some of the keywords that the item says. So I'll just try to find something. So I'll just do the first one here, sell similar. And since I don't have my own listings of these exact genes, this is just going to be faster. And then I'll go in and make my own edits. I'm not going to keep most of what people have. So you'll see the edits that I'll make. The next one, Lucky Brand, which is actually really good. Anytime you find Lucky Brand for under $3, just get it because Lucky Brand is a pretty good, um, pretty good jeans brand. They sell pretty good. So always... Um, kind of go off of what the uh, secondary name is. So, yeah, I can turn $2 into potentially 30 bucks here. So, you know, anytime you find deals like that, I'm not sure, like for LA, if they have a day that's just $2, I'm pretty sure where you're at there's probably a day out of the week that's just insane. So you want to ask them and and basically go on those days and source like crazy. Because if they had more like jeans like these, I would have went a lot harder. I just found 10 that were like mall brand type jeans. So I'm pretty happy with it. Next one, RSQ London. So the only issue, and I know these are picked over because they're all skinny and skinny is one of the worst type of jeans to sell right now. You really want to go for um, like straight or wide leg that's or boot cut leg. Like that's what's in right now. Um, but skinny stuff still honestly sells. And for me to get it for two bucks, it'll eventually sell for over 20 bucks. I'm just going to price these at like $25 plus $9 shipping. You'll see um, here shortly I just messed up I that wasn't the right one <clears throat> so this is basically like what I do I just drag um, I just like I take all the pictures on my phone my iPhone and then in square mode and then I just um, airdrop it onto my iMac and um, for me that's what works obviously you can have like your camera and you know, um, use the SD card, which is probably more reliable because sometimes maybe twice, um, it's happened one time where the airdrop like didn't work. Um, but I have to like restart my computer and then it'll, it'll work. Um, so nothing like crazy, but, um, so these are page jeans and then you always want to use like the little name they use for the jeans. Um, which is Lennox. I don't even know how to say that. So it's very simple. I'll just sell similar on the first ones that I see because obviously they're doing something right if they're the first one. Um, but not all of them are going to be 100% right. And you obviously have to edit and, and change everything, which I'll show you guys. Don't worry. Uh, but this is just kind of what I do in the beginning just to like get everything basically ready. And then I'll go in, which you'll see, and then I'll make all the proper adjustments here. Um, American Eagle. And uh, I'll just do the first one here. So you just want to sell somewhere off of the, the most like the one that kind of matches it the most. You don't necessarily have to search the color, just like that main keyword that you'll find in the waistband usually. Um, pretty much you can never go wrong with Levi's. At, like 
if I just was going to thrift stores and I didn't have the bins, I'd probably just mainly source jeans, to be honest, because they're high ASP. And I know people, their whole business model is just jeans. So I have nothing against jeans. It's just at the bins, $3 per pound, it can get up there. So I mainly do just top tier brands, gold items. Uh, but if I was, if I didn't have a bins and I just had to source the thrift stores, obviously I'd try to find those gold items, but mainly I feel like I'd be a huge jean seller just because they have higher ASP and they have higher sell through rate and um, they command more money and they always eventually sell. Like all the jeans I've ever had usually eventually sell. Pretty much everything on eBay eventually sells, but I'd say like jeans, you can't really go wrong if you can get them low enough. <laughs> like two bucks is insane. Or if you see them for seven and then it's 50% off day or whatever your sale is for your Goodwill, um, I'd say $3 is really good for Levi's. It's good for jeans. Pretty much any mall brand jeans. Um, if you can get them for like $3 or less, like you can't really go wrong because it will eventually sell and you want to kind of start them off at the $25 range. So as you can see on the tag right here, this is where you want to search for it. Just so you can get in the right ballpark. So unfortunately, like I just source like skinny jeans for the most part, which is really bad. They're not in demand, but um, I've sold many skinny jeans, even though it's not like super trendy right now. All right. <clears throat> if you have fast Wi-Fi, it's good because then once you like actually get started, it's all uploaded already. So I pay for the best Wi-Fi I can get. I think I spend like a hundred bucks a month. Did I just mess up again? Yeah. It's hard making videos and doing this at the same time. Boom. All right. These next, this next one's actually a good brand and I think it's straight. Yeah. So like wider leg straight. If I could have had all my jeans be this type of style, it would have been better or boot cut is really good right now. Um, uh, this is Vince, which is a good brand. So, I always spell corduroy wrong for some reason. I'm like dyslexic and I always mess it up. So, like, yeah, see, good brand. They're selling for higher money. Um, so 30 bucks here plus, I'd say for jeans. If you really wanted to sell your jeans fast, you could sell them for what you ship them for, which would be like $7.60. If you really wanted to move jeans and be very competitive, I'd say the $7.60 mark, because it's just a flat rate USPS flat rate envelope, you would be very competitive pricing shipping wise. The next tier up, maybe $7.90, because you could fit the jeans in a... Uh, legal flat rate envelope, which is just slightly bigger. And that's pretty competitive. And then the next tier up would be 890, which is what most people um, have their shipping for. Um, it's like $8.90 for shipping on jeans or anything that's priority, because you can usually fit anything that's clothing wise in a uh, flat rate envelope, USPS flat rate envelope, which you can get for free. Or um, the legal flat rate, which is $7.90. Uh, I And then usually when I look at jeans, people also price it at $9.99. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll basically make the $2 that I spent just off of shipping because it's going to cost me like $7.60. I'll charge $9. Obviously, the fees and everything, it's, it's just going to – that's just my strategy with jeans from now on because – I don't know. It's crazy. Like some people pay crazy calculated shipping costs on, on things. Like when I first started, I had all, I didn't have flat rate, I had like calculated and there's people spending like 25 bucks on shipping. So that's not going to be everyone, obviously, 
But um, it's just crazy what some people spend for shipping. So if like $9 shipping for jeans, you're going to make some money off of the shipping and um, it's going to save you on some of the fees and all that. So this is Tommy Bahama. Um, I haven't had great success with Tommy Bahama pants but or jeans, but these are Chino. So maybe they'll do a little bit better. They're a bigger size. Tommy Bahama tends to be a bigger size. And this was in the men's section. So, but usually, like the men's section was just wiped out today for that $2 deal. So I had to go to the women's section. Everything so far has been women's basically, except for the Tommy Bahama. And the women's section has a lot more variety. And if you're just doing the thrift stores, I would really try to get into women's clothing. Because the thrift stores, usually it's just mainly women's clothing. Like the guy stuff gets wiped out pretty fast. Unless you want to wake up, be the first one there every day. Wipe out the men's clothing. Someone does it. Yeah, I went late today. So all the men's stuff was wiped out jeans-wise and pretty much everything. Some of the blazers, there were some really good deals. But um, <clears throat> all right. So let's get straight into it, guys. So this is going to be a list with me. That's basically, you know, what I do in the beginning. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I'm going to try to go for speed here, but I also want to be very accurate. So in the beginning, if you're just starting off, you want to get it right. Don't focus on speed. Don't focus on speed. Just focus on getting it right. Then the speed will come because it will become very repetitive after 90 days, I'd say, you'll be able to get really fast at listing. Now, I've been off the bandwagon with listing. I just got back from a 10-day vacation. Then since that vacation, I've been shipping out almost like 50 per day. So that takes a lot of time to do 50 items per day when not everything's in a, in a SKU system. It can take a while. And if I didn't have the SKU system, it, it'd be too much, honestly. So I'm really glad that like more than half of my inventory is in the SKU system. The other half is like stacked up. It's just, I need to really fix it. All right. So sometimes when I click on the, the photo here, it takes a little while. So I'll usually reference also on this, on this page too, just so I can zoom in really fast. It takes like a second. When I click on here to see the sizing and name and everything, it takes a while. So Express Jeans. So if you don't know SEO, it's the most important thing on eBay. If you get your SEO right, you can sell the most basic mall brand type, low tier type items if you can get your SEO right. And look at these ugly ass nails. That's going to deter some people, to be honest. So I got to cut that. Don't look at those nails. So if you don't know SEO, it's the most important thing other than price. So pretty much how you want to structure it is express jeans, then gender, women's. Then you want to get the size. Um, women's 12R. Um, blue. denim then you kind of want to get the actual size because jeans are always not the size that it says on the tag so this is 32 I guess I'm really bad at math so I might have to use my calculator on some of these because I was not a scholar when it came to math um, so 32 and 27 so the gene measurements are very important to get right. And basically, just a quick run around on gene measurements. You want to get the waist right here. So whatever your waist says, if it says 16, that means it's 32. So whatever the waist is, you just times it by 2. You always want to get the high seam. So this is about 13.5 because you go from the top down here. And then you basically get the length, which is from 
the stitching right on the inseam, like right on the crotch. Then you want to go all the way down. And I also do a photo that's zoomed up 27. So, and then you want to get the keywords. So the, once you get this first part of the jeans and for anything that you're listing, you want to get the brand name, what it is, jeans, the gender, women's, the size, 12 R blue denim so, and then the color so size then color and then I put the actual size in when it comes to jeans and then the keywords so you know the keywords for the jeans would be what it says right what it says on the waistband or on the tag um, ankle legging ankle legging high rise ankle legging high rise and then it's a stretch um, and then did I put skinny oh wait no these aren't really skinny so these are like distress and it doesn't fit um, That's fine. So I, I copy this because I'm going to put it in the description, but then later on I'm going to bulk edit the description to make it a script. Um, so when it's 12R, I'll usually just, when it comes to the size for jeans, I'll just put 32 because that is what the waist is. Um, regular blue fabric wash medium. So the fabric wash is just like how dark the color is. <clears throat> um, just only apply things that actually apply. It's not belted. Easy care means you can like wash it in the washing machine. Um, does have stretch. High rise is higher than we 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 saw that it was thirteen, so it's higher than ten because it's high rise denim. Regular. Cotton. Inseam. 27. Waist 32. If you just don't know what that means, you just clear it. So only, only, only apply things that actually apply to the listing and remove everything else. If you don't know it, just remove it. <clears throat> All right. All right. Paste the same title in the description, which is not really what you want to do, but if you're going for speed, you can do that and it's fine. I've sold so many items with the description, just the title. It's insane. Um, could use condition. And then I'll just, I think a good jeans price is around this right here. I usually put an aggressive markdown, so I'm just going to do 28. Um, for weight, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of do everything first class, and then I'll make it priority if it's over... Um, which may not be the smartest because it may deter some people if they need it right now. Um, but yeah, shipping nine ninety nine, boom, first one done. And usually it takes me faster. I just kind of wanted to walk you through that. So for this one, I'll show you a little bit more speed. <clears throat> Abercrombie Fitch jeans, women's then size. 28 and color perfect
perfect stretch. I'll put 6R as well because someone might search that. 6R, and then I'll put 28X33. And so sometimes people do put the word actual because usually it's never what it actually says. So, so 28, which is pretty close, and then 29. So this 33 is not right. So what you could do is just put 29 here, or you could put actual, but it might not fit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put 29. So some people may disagree with me on that, but that is the correct measurements. What is this skinny? It's kind of like in between. Any other keywords? Perfect stretch. Already added that. Um, it's crazy how much jeans shrink. It's it's honestly crazy. Yeah. Copy. I think the waist is really the most important thing. Um. It doesn't say stretch, so I'm not going to put stretch. So, like I said, only apply things that actually apply to the listing. Um, what's the high rise? I usually don't focus too much on high rise, but let's do it. Um, it's like 9.5. So, I guess it's mid. Denim. Always remove does not apply. It's just going to mess up the SEO. Inseam was 29 was it 29 oh shit I mean crap 29 waist is 28 <clears throat> When you're sourcing, only source good stuff. Like, become a master at passing up on items. Like, if there's stains, if there's anything wrong with it, just pass it up. It's not worth putting it. You don't want to put stuff like that on your store. You just want to put the best stuff possible in your store. So, I'm probably pricing these pretty high, but, like, I don't care. I'm willing to sit on them. I'll pretty much accept any offer because I got the stuff for two bucks, so it's not a huge deal. All right, next one. What brand is it? Cool. Lucky brand. Advanced skinny. Lucky brand jeans. Women's. Awesome. What size was it? Women's 14. Remove that. Copy that. Blue. Denim. Advanced skinny because that's what the it says. Advanced skinny. Doesn't say stretch on it, so we're gonna take that out. Casual is a good filler word for titles. Um, advanced skinny. Um. Where are we? And then let's put the actual measurements. So twenty seven. You really, for SEO, you really want to try to fill out the title as best as you can. Like, try to get 80 characters. Uh, adult. But is 14 adult? I may be screwing up right there. Um, 
So I'm just going to put 27 here. Could be juniors, to be honest. Lucky brand, style, skinny, regular, 27 blue women. Um, it's darker. There's no stretch words anywhere. Take that out. What's the high seam? I'm messing up right now. Where do I have it right here? So it's considered high, a high rise. And, and that would be something good to add to the title, but I'm kind of out of words there. Actually, maybe I could. That's better. Lucky brand, inseam, 27-28. If you guys are getting value, make sure you smash the like button. It'll motivate me to make more videos just like this. That way we can help you out. Lucky brand is a great jeans brand. If you can get it low enough, it's... Uh, Pretty much a guaranteed win. My air conditioner keeps going on and off, if you're wondering why it's doing that. It's kind of blown right on me, too. Alrighty. I'm going a little slower here. I usually go faster. I have other um, List With Me videos, but jeans do take a little bit longer. Um, which is fine though, because they command more money. Okay, RSQ. This title's all out of whack. RSQ jeans. Dang, is this this was in the women's section? So I don't know if this is. So you have to make sure the category is right too. I'm gonna assume this is women's, but. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't trust Goodwill, but it probably is. So we'll come back to that in a second. Um, damn, this is in the men's section too. Changing the category sucks because it wipes everything out. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Refresh. We'll start with this one. We'll come back. American Eagle, jeans, women's, nice. This person knows what's good. Women's 10. So are these junior? Green. Next. Um, ten. Oh shit. Women's ten. Denim. Color. So the brand name jeans. What it is jeans. Women's ten. Green denim. Keyword next level stretch is this high rise yep take up the dash is it skinny uh, doesn't really say skinny does it no then let's put the actual size here. 30. My camera's in the way. 29. Oh. I need to get a camera tripod.
I always do one that's zoomed in, so I should have just done that. <sighs> oh, it's blurry. That's great. What an epic fail. 29. Just make sure. Always want to make sure. You want to triple check sometimes just to make sure so you don't get an item not to subscribe. That's the worst. Nope. So 75 is going to be the max fill for this title. Green. I'm just going to put 30 for the size. I think I'll get more search results. Always remove anything that does not apply. This is a higher, um, this is considered high. So I'm being more slow and more thorough. So this is what a quality listing is. If you guys want to get more sales, you have to make sure you're doing quality listings. So 30, 29, that's good, 30, and yeah, not bad. Make sure you get good photos as well, fully lit, <clears throat> as you can see, good lighting. You can see everything clearly. Except for that one blurry Philip photo. Um, so yeah, with jeans you can kind of have it in like a bucket tier system. These are just all basic Malvern items. I usually have like a 25 to 30% off coupon and then I'll usually mark it down like 20 to 30%. So. A lot of these jeans are probably going to sell off at like 15 bucks or so plus shipping um, just because I'm super generous and but like I could just have them no coupon nothing they'd probably still sell at the $25 plus shipping so this one got this one had a bunch of failed but everything is uploaded all right, those are Levi's. Let's do the Tommy Bahama right now. The only men's thing that I have. Damn, this person's title is all out of whack. <clears throat> Tommy Bahama pants. Men's. Huge size. Men's. 40 beige chino you could also just add jeans it just widens the um, search results people will know it's not like G denim but chino actual size or yeah let's see what the actual size is 40. Thirty-one. Um, almost eighty characters there. So yeah, you just want to fill out the titles as best as you can, all the way out. Try to get up to eighty characters. Get the best chance for uh, SEO optimization. 40, beige, inseam, 31. Preppy, um, 40. Oops. Wait, not really. Sure. Oh, 
home. Okay, Vince Corduroy, 26. Vince Jeans. Mormons, 26. Green. Corduroy. Actual size. Wow. It's crazy how jeans are just so off. Super off. Um, there isn't really any keywords to go off of here. Like I said, only add things that apply. So this is a high rise, corduroy, waist is uh, 30. So just like letting people know that it's not 26, is actually 30. Let's do 34.88 just because it's a better brand. Like I said, I do pretty aggressive markdowns after 30 days, sometimes after a couple of days. Boom. Almost done, guys. All right, so I'm going to end it here just because 40 minutes is pretty long for a video. But yeah, I'm just, it would just be the same process for all these, but. Um, hopefully you guys got some value in this. If you did, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you want more videos just like this. And if you like the video, it'll motivate me to make way more videos just like this. And, um, leave a comment with any constructive feedback. Some of these may have been juniors. I'm not too sure, but, um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are because I come to you guys with videos and content just like this, helping you increase your eBay sales, helping you really take your brand and business on eBay to the next level. So that being said, we'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you very soon. Peace.